Hey guys, this is Old School Customized Roger. Hope you guys enjoy your night. Whoa. Yeah, what is night outside? I can only do a hot rod out here at outside the middle of the garage. Maybe later. What? Either way, besides all that, um, today we're going to go to work on, do some more work on the 33 roaster. Okay. So the uh it's not a problem, but um I just don't need the steel there. Because where the transmission sits right now, you see that? Where the dry shaft is gonna go, usually the dry shaft doesn't go straight, it goes it tilts a little bit with the rear end. So this piece here. I won't eat that no more. So that way, when I decide to lay the sheet, I can just lay it flat. Let me zoom out a little bit. That way you can actually see the whole thing because show me part of it. Either way, that piece there, I do not need no more. <coughs> so I had these pieces here and they were welded on there and I had it in an angle because I figured that um I thought I was gonna need a that a notch over the body itself, but I, I really don't need it. I could just lay the sheet flat. The only thing I'm gonna have to make tunnel is make a tunnel is over the transmission. That's it. Everything else is gonna be flat, so it should be simple. Um so I got it grinded there a little bit. Let me show you. See? I grind it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the steel right there. I'm going to add it behind it. Put another piece of steel there. Weld it from that end. And then weld it from this end. And then I'm going to get this and get this cut off. So basically that's what I'm going to do right now. I got the steel over here. Over here. And um, I got this piece here. I believe I already marked it there. I'm gonna put it on here and the, on the vise and then get this cut, clean it up and get it welded over there. And then we'll be able to cut that, that rest of that steel off. We won't need that no more. So that way we can just lay this sheet of uh, metal and then just will be flat. It'll be a lot easier. So, I'm going to set the camera on the tripod, and um, we're going to get that steel cut, and um, then we'll get it welded. And we're finally getting some cool weather out here, man, in the south. So... We even got the tripod on something. You just keep jumping. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some cool weather out here, so I take it. It's better than that heat, man. We get a lot of heat here over here, man. So we're gonna go to get this cut, cleaned up, and then we'll go and get it welded. Of course. Need our goggles and gloves. I finally went and bought me a new uh, a sander for to because this little plastic deal thing on me it broke on me the last time I was sanding. It just like sheared off, man. And uh. I mean, it was old. It was from the other sander we had. The other grinder, or whatever you want to call it. Sander, grinder, whatever you want to call it. Either or. So we're going to get some electricity and we're going to get this um, cut. Uh, 
I want to mention something too, guys. I guess now that I'm doing this, um, I know sometimes when I do my videos, I might sound a little bit like if I'm grumpy or something like that. I'm really, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a nice guy, man. It just, sometimes I'm just having a bad day or whatever. Because I, I got to go to work and then, you know, I'm trying to make the best content for you guys. And I sure can't be making content with a sour face. So I'm going to try and do better. Give you guys best content I can give you. Put a smile. So I'll work on it. But we're going to go ahead and get this cut and um, cleaned up. And then we'll go get that piece welded on there. Like this, this video is going to continue. So we're going to go ahead and get this done, get this cut, weld it on there. And then we'll continue trying to get that sheet metal laid out on the body itself and start doing, putting the pieces together. But like I said, on the, Driver's side, I can't, I can't get, I can't put the sheet there. I can cut it, but I can't rip it on there. Not anytime soon because I still need to get the brake system. And that's in the works of trying to get that brake system. I found one, but need money. So, but I'll be getting it. Maybe that'll be a Christmas gift for myself. We guys always tend to do that. We always buy the best gifts for ourselves. <laughs> I'm not saying the ladies don't buy good gifts. They do, they do, they do. My girl buys me good gifts, but I'm just saying. If you're picky like me, you'll you'll know like, well, you'll be like, yeah, I wanted that, yeah. and then later I'll be like, you didn't like it, no, I didn't like it. <laughs> but we can't be showing the, our true colors, but they'll know. Y'all know we're lying. You liar! But either way, we're going to get this going, guys. Oh, we got that cleaned up. Yeah, I didn't clean it all the way because, like I said, later on, I'm going to go ahead and decide to, when I decide to paint the frame and all that stuff, we can do that later on. Right now, we need to just get these parts welded on there and then all that other pepper. pepper can you say the word? All the prepping to paint that vehicle, that's the last thing you want to do in any vehicle, any hot rod that you build. You want to get the stuff fabricated first and then weld it, grind it, what do you have to do? Most of the time, like with that hot rod, I've always had to go back and do something again. It just happens, you know? You, you think that you got it right and then, oh, oops, you got to go back and redo it again. It just happens when it when, has, when you have to deal with hot riding. Um, but we're going to get this welded. So I'm going to get everything set up. And then I'll be over there in a little bit. And I'll see you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have to use my other. You guys can see me a little bit. We're gonna work right here, that's why. Um I do the my other small tripod. But either way, we're gonna work right here. That piece that I cut earlier is gonna go right here. Just like that.
Can't think I got it. I'm gonna finish it off. There it is, guys. That C notch is gone. You can use that steel for something else. There it is. It didn't. It didn't move or anything. It still stayed. It stayed in its place. And um, I still have that clearance for that dry shaft. So I, I think it's kind of good that I push this a little bit more back, just in case. Like the housing is gonna go right here. I can always notch it there. And I still have plenty of room for my chef, so I won't hit. Let me get you guys to come check it out real quick. See? Of course, you got to just clean up the wells and all that stuff, but it worked out pretty good. Now I can lay that sheet. That sheet of uh, aluminum, well, not aluminum, but that steel that I have, that sheet metal. I can do the, the back part. And we can start, maybe get the passenger side done too. And, um, try to get the floor done on this car. This this is not rivet up all the way because I'm going to take it off because. So that once I start um get the rear end for this vehicle, I need to see where that rear end is going to go. So, like I said, you can consider this consider this uh, episode one on doing the floor or volume one or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. We finally got that that uh, C notch taken off. We don't need it. This, there's no purpose for it. Um, and I will, I don't want to get into the, how you put it? Trying to make a cu custom seat, like, you know, see notch it. I just want to lay it flat. That's what, that's what I actually want to do. Most, most hot rods are like that are just flat anyway. They don't, they don't have that notch to it. So, um, like I said, um, I'll finish some of the welds off later on, get that finished off and probably add a little bit more brackets to it. I mean, more steel to the floor and then we'll go ahead and get that floor done, part of it and see what it, what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy this little small clip video and um, more videos to come on this car, like I said. And, um, oh, if I, let me show you guys what I got. Since we're here. Look at that. I finally got my back tires for my roaster. Brand new. And they're going to look pretty cool on it. I wanted that tallness. Maybe I look badass. So either way, guys, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe to Old School Custom Rides if you haven't. Um, share too. And um, like I said, hope you just come. So I'll see y'all guys later. Take it easy. Take care. And uh, keep on hot riding. Mm. Not Halloween anymore. Come on, guys. Get over it. <laughs> take it easy. Take care. Like. What the hell was that? Take it easy, take care. It's time for me to go to bed. Haters. <laughs>